Sam, maybe enough cartoons for today. It's our third one already. It's movie night, not movie hour. We'll be watching them all night. Yeah, right. This one with the Angry Birds will be the last. Okay, fine. Sam? What? Where did all the popcorn go? No idea. It just... Mom had eaten. I didn't even notice. And as usual, you didn't even think about me. Quiet. An interesting moment. Sam? What? Sue, how did he get inside the egg? Well, he's a bird, and birds hatch from eggs. That's nonsense. Birds grow on trees in nests. They live in nests, and they come from eggs. Oh, there's so little room in there. I'm so dark. <gasps> That's it, Sammy. Let's go to bed. Can birds hatch from the eggs in our fridge? No. To get a baby bird from an egg, you need a mother bird to hatch them. Hatch them? How? Well, roughly speaking, sit on them. Oh, we don't have a bird. <gasps> Will a cat do? No, there's another way. At poultry farms, they put eggs in a special incubator that provides conditions necessary to grow hatchlings, warm temperature, and humidity. <sighs> Interesting. All right, nature boy, go to sleep. You won't hatch anything from grocery store eggs. Won't hatch anything. If I'd always listened to you, I wouldn't have had my channel. Where are the eggs? Not here. Um, how about... Uh, nope. Hmm... Oh, dessert. I'll get back to you later. <laughs> <gasps> Aha! Here are the eggs! Are you cold, little ones? Don't be sad. Papa Sam will warm you up and our viewers will give us a thumbs up, right, guys? <laughs> Sit on eggs. <laughs> I can do it myself. I'll just put an egg right here. And another one. Okay, yes, that's better. Hey guys, do you think I'll get hatchlings? Pause the video and leave a comment below. I wonder how much longer I should sit like this. I need to face the facts. I am not a bird. And what does that mean? Well, that's right. We need an incubator. What did Sue say? Um, right. Warmth and humidity. Here's your warmth. And I'll wrap you to keep you safe from drafts. And a bit of humidity. Here, my babies. Papa Sam is ready to do anything for you. Let me hug you. Oh, it seems like only yesterday Sue and I met and our family's already growing. <gasps> oh! Sam! When did he do this? Have you been sleeping here? Sad bird. Stay. Sammy, Stay. wake up. Stay. Oh, oh, birds. Oh, oh, why? Where are my hatchlings? You've still decided to try your crazy idea? Here. Oh, no. Sam is a bad papa. Oh, no. Sammy, uh, don't cry. <laughs> Do you want a chocolate? <laughs> Two chocolates? Uh, a box, perhaps? Do you want a home incubator? Yes! Listen, 
I've seen a draft on the internet. Let's try to do a science experiment. <laughs> thank you, thank you, dear Sue. <sighs> well, guys, we're going to build an incubator. Are you ready? They need to subscribe first, and I'll send them a big digital kiss. Guys, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be the first to see all new episodes. And we'll start. First, we'll need some hard styrofoam, about two centimeters thick. Dear viewers, we strongly recommend you do this project only with an adult. Ask them to help. Watch this video as a guide from Sam and learn together with us. Let's measure 20 and 22 centimeters on each side. And cut this part with the help of a stationary knife. We'll need four parts like this. Now, let's assemble a house out of three parts and connect them with duct tape. Another one? Now for ducks, too. It should be 20 centimeters wide, 24 centimeters high, and 22 centimeters deep. Now, let's glue these styrofoam strips inside. You'll understand later what it's for. And now, with the help of clippers, we need to cut a piece of metal grid the size of the bottom of our box. Oh, let me clip! I'm a super clipper! Oh, no, Sammy. It's not for kids. Uh, kids? Where do you see kids here? I'm going to be a bird dad soon! <laughs> kids, really? Now, we're going to need a plug, an adjustable switch, and a bulb with a socket. Our neighbor, Roger, helped me connect them. And you too, guys, should ask adults to help you. Oh, that Roger. Guys, who helps you do crafts? Pause the video and comment right now! Now, we can adjust the brightness of the lamp. Let's mark the places on one more part where we'll insert the socket and the switch. Let's insert them carefully. Screw the bulb in. And there! And we'll make the last wall from transparent plastic so that... So that I can watch my babies! <laughs> yes! Now we need to make holes for ventilation to make sure the eggs... Babies! Sam's babies don't suffocate. We'll make several holes in the upper part of the side walls. Again, ask an adult to help. And several at the bottom of the back wall. Fluffy! Let me swaddle you! Please, it won't hurt a bit! Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Oh! Oh! Are you mad now? Help! Sue! Fluffy has gone mad! He... Shh! Sam, quiet! This is an interesting moment. We'll make latches for the transparent wall. They're easy to make. Just bend the clips with the cutters. This is perfect. Now let's attach them here so they can hold the wall. <laughs> the bulb will help maintain the necessary temperature inside the incubator. But humidity is also important. I know, I know! We need to water them! Sam, they aren't plants! The eggs should stay dry. I'll put a flat container with water under the grid. We can monitor the temperature and humidity with this special sensor. Hey guys, did you know that different regions have different air humidity? I have a special task for you. Find out what the humidity in your region is and write in the comments. By the way guys, thank you so much for all the comments. I wake up every day, read them, and laugh out loud. <laughs> write more! Meanwhile, our home incubator is almost ready. Let's close the door and wait until we get the numbers we need. Humidity should be around 50 to 55%. If it's too low, add another container with water. If it's too high, use a smaller container. And the temperature can be regulated with the help of the switch. We'll need to get it to 38 degrees. 38 degrees? That's a lot! They're running a fever in there! It's the temperature of a mother bird. Just right. Ready? Now we can put the eggs in. I'm I'll put a smaller grid inside and some hay for the setting. Here they are, my sweeties. None of them have cracked. Wow! Thank you, Sammy. You'll make a great dad. 
These are ordinary quail eggs from the supermarket. Before you put them in, you need to check them for cracks and add marks. It'll come in handy when we turn the eggs over. We need to do it regularly. For the next three weeks, we'll be watching the eggs and monitor the indicators. Hey guys, do you want to see the result of the experiment and know if we get hatchlings from supermarket eggs? Give a thumbs up if you do and write, I want to see Sam's hatchlings. Hey Sam, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm setting up camp here. I'm going to watch my babies. <laughs> Guys, if you want to know what happened after the video, leave a comment below. And while you're doing that, we'll get to our next interesting craft. Let's go! Hi everyone! In one of our videos, we assembled an incubator to grow little quails. Many of you asked how the baby birds were doing, if it was a success. And today, we can finally show them! Quail hatchlings are so adorable! But more than that, they are incredible creatures. It's interesting to know that quail hatchlings come out of the egg well-formed, and they can leave the nest and follow their parents soon after birth. Not many babies can do that. Quails can fly a short distance, but they spend most of their time on the ground. And still, quails have been to space! They were the first Earth beings born in a space station. Perhaps you've wondered how baby birds can breathe inside their egg. They have no problems with that. Because the eggshell has several thousand pores able to let the air through. And when the baby bird finally hatches, it comes out wet and able to see. Speaking about eyesight, quails and almost all other birds have full color vision, which means they can see all of the colors. And they also dream, just like us. Do you think all baby birds look alike? Even if you answered yes, know that quails can make out over 100 faces among their fellow birds. You're probably wondering if it's possible to become friends with a baby bird. They say that it's possible. Baby birds can get used to the presence of a human. Follow them and consider them their friend. I think I'll get the chance to see if it's true. Well guys, since Sam and I have baby quails now, we need to get our house ready for them. But won't our house suit them the way it is? No, Sammy. Baby birds need special care so that they could grow into beautiful and healthy quails. What will they need? Well, of course, food, water, and also special light. <gasps> light too? How do you know all that, Susie? <laughs> oh, Sam, you were at the farm with me where they were telling us all about that. Weren't you listening? I uh, was, but uh, forgot. Ah, Sammy, Sammy. Guys, have you ever seen baby birds in real life? Do you like them? Pause the video and please share your experience in the comments. So let's get started. We already have food for them, but we need to make a special feeder so that the baby birds can eat when they need to. We'll need a large plastic bottle for the feeder, like this. I'll cut it in half. Guys, be very careful with the knife. Better ask an adult to help you with this. And the next step. What's the next step? We need to cut round openings along the bottle's diameter. Oh, go ahead, cut, and I'll be back in a moment. Uh, I had it around here somewhere. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Of course. <laughs> here. Here what? Do you want to treat me to sprinkles? Not you, the baby birds. Oh, no, 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 Sammy. Baby birds only eat special food. I'll pour it into the feeder like this. And close the lid. 
fun! Oh, eating, looking happy, so cute! <laughs> yeah! What about water? I bought a special drinking bowl for that. Wow! Let me take a closer look. Awesome! Let's see if the baby birds like it. Jar will help us create an ideal light source for the baby birds. I'll also need an ordinary bulb. Susie, is everything okay with this lid? Yes, Sammy. I did that on purpose. I'll let the bulb wire through this opening. And then place the bulb into the jar. And done! Oh, what a cozy, warm light! Oh, the baby quails agree. <laughs> if we can grow quails at home. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel! It would be great if you could share this video with your friends! <laughs>